Hello everyone, in this particular video, we are going to learn about that how to take a user input and create new element dynamically, which is appending with the help of input field, right? So let's jump right in and see that how it works. So I'm having this HTML page, you can see, and on the top I'm having a heading and then our input field, uh, which ID is item input and type is text and the placeholder is enter an item, right? And the button, uh, which is having add button id is add button like this and we are having an empty list which is an unordered list whose id is item list and that's it right now we are going to see that how it will work so let me write the main logic which by which we can do the append work right so let's take all the item first that is const item input equals to document document dot get element by id and then we will select that particular element which element this particular item input right so we are just going to copy it and paste it here similarly we are going to do this the same process for the all the elements right so let's copy it down and paste it right here all right now this is for what this is for add button right and similarly let's copy and paste it here also and this one this one is for the item list you remember that unordered list yeah this is for the same so let's paste it here also yeah now we have selected all the items now what we will do we will do add button dot add event listener we will make a event listener to the button right and that particular event is what click we are going to take the click event after that after that what we will do we will just okay I think okay we will make a arrow button like this and after that we will write that const text equals to item input whatever the element whatever the thing we are writing inside our input field right dot value so that we can get its value and dot trim just so that uh, there's no extra spaces right just remove for removing those extra spaces we are going to use dot trim fine now coming forward to if text equals to black means that if there's no text present in that particular case you make a alert means someone click on the button but has not written anything inside the input field in that particular case you do what you make an alert and say please enter uh, an item first right we can write anything which you want right now after this uh, we will make the return right so there is no use to just be inside that particular what listener function right now after that what we'll do we will create new list item right so if user has input anything made an input anything in that particular case what we'll do we will create create new list item in that what we'll do we will write const new item equals to and then document dot create element okay let me write it by my own okay here it is create element and then inside of this we'll write list so you do what you create a new element which is a list right and after that new item dot text content now what should be the text content you tell me same that what we have entered inside the input field and that is stored inside this particular text right so we'll write text here like this after that what's the second process the second process is to append it to the list append it to the list right so what we'll do we will write item list dot wait dot append child bracket new item 
like this. Got it? Now after that, after appending it to the list, what we can do is that we put the item value as what means after you have appended it, right? Now you have to make this input field as blank, right? We don't want that to be, be here and there also same, right? So we write item input dot value equals to just black like this, right? So this is the main logic. I hope you understood that how it is uh, like what's the flow of the code. Now let's see that how it actually works, right? So let me go live and you can see here we are having our you can see we are having our shopping list as I sh shared you here my shopping list and here we are going to write enter any item let's say uh, clothes like this when we click on add item does anything happen no let's see what's the problem here okay there's something missing okay yeah now again let's try it add item you can see the item got entered and it is appended here right now like the same you can do anything any anything which you want like bag and like toy right so by this method we can do or append the elements in our javascript right so this is all for today's video i hope you understood the concept that how we can do this easily if you may do then make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button thank you so much for watching we will meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye